This is 40 Getchell Street Brewer. Really nice little single family home. Getchell Street's a dead end street. Um, mix of single families and multi families. Uh, pretty well taken care of. We just got a foot and a half of snow yesterday. <laughs> so it looks a little bleak, but there is room for three vehicles in the driveway without an issue too. Of course, plenty of room, but a lot of times people do have third. It does have a nice little yard. Uh, neighbor on this side has got a fence, which is a nice barrier. Kind of goes back to the tree line. There is like a fire pit back there, right on the right side of the snow bank. Um, has a good side like L-shaped deck here. Can't see it very well because of the snow, but um, we do have one repair to do. I don't know if you can see the little angle there that is supposed to be flat. Uh, about a month ago, we had a big windstorm, um, 70 mile an hour winds, which only happens in our area, you know, once every 10 years or so, but had a small tree that came down. We had that cleaned up right away, but uh, we will have to have that repaired in the spring. Pretty minor, but uh, this is kind of neat because uh, it's a three bedroom, one bath. It does have this room, which is not heated, but it is a huge mud room and a great like sunroom in the summer. Um, really does make for uh, a nice spot to have all your like shoes and boots and that kind of stuff come off. Uh, the last tenant had uh, a bunch of storage stuff in it. Works really well for that. You know, it's an older house. You can definitely see it. It's got a lot of that character. They did update the kitchen um, about 15 years ago. And the current owner um, put in new uh, countertop. Um, and the appliances were updated, I think it was two years ago. So it's got, um, the tenant just moved out of it, and we just did some painting. So it hasn't had a final clean yet. The floors uh, need a clean and some minor other stuff, but pretty minor. Got a little bit of touch-up paint, but they really were good tenants, left it good. This is like a formal dining room or could be a office if somebody needed one. And then it's got a big living room with like bay windows. The curtains don't have to stay, but the tenant um, had bought them specifically for this and uh, so left them, which is nice of them. Um, again, good size rooms. Uh, the other update it has a forced hot air oil system. And when it was built, it never had ducts upstairs. The owner just spent a significant amount of money to uh, put ducts in upstairs to even out the heat a little bit more, make it a little more comfortable if people like it hotter when they sleep. Um, so that's a nice little upgrade. Uh, again, some little paint stuff. We'll touch up paint um, here and there. I think they scraped some furniture or something here on the stairs. But, I mean, overall very good shape. The uh, kind of typical colonial, it's got two good-sized bedrooms and a small third. And then it's also got an attic, um, which is good storage, or maybe even a little bit of a hobby area because a prior owner did add some electric up there. So as you come in, uh, you've got this back bedroom, which would be the second good size one. Doesn't have a closet in it, so they had left that um, portable closet. And then it's got a full-size bath, which again was updated, but probably 20 years ago now. Um, does have a bath fan, which is not always in a lot of older rentals, but does have that. Smaller third bedroom, or again, could be a nice little office uh, computer room. And then the master is really good size, easily do a king size bed, and also has the bay windows, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> it also has a little walk in closet area, which again, they had added this to, which I don't think is good enough for a master bedroom. So we're going to add closet shelving um, and then some closet shelving in this nook here too. So really give it like a master closet and this will go away or maybe go in um, the other bedroom. The Because uh, the other thing it will do is it will allow this door to swing correctly. And then this is the attic, which is just an attic. I would typically say, uh, I think it was unfinished at one point, probably was literally attic space. Um, it wasn't insulated or anything when the house was built. However, somebody did put a little bit of time in updating this little room up here. Again, it's not finished, finished. We're not advertising it as a fourth bedroom or anything because you would need egress. But it could be a good little craft or hobby area if somebody was into something like that because you have a little bit of room that's actually kind of finished. And again, you'd have to 
figure out uh, probably a little electric heater or something like that. But and if somebody wanted to do a little bit of improvement up here, they could do it. It would be on your own dime. But it is nice. It's a lot nicer than most attics in the Bangor area. So that's nice a little benefit. It uh, does have, again, electric that was added, which is unusual in an attic. There probably was a reason for it, but you would need to do some outlet covers or something. If you wanted to use it, the tenant would basically be responsible for anything they wanted up here. But could be, or it could be not used at all and shut off. That literally is just up to whomever was running the house. They might not need the space and then it wouldn't matter. So it is nice wood floors, carpet on the stairs, of course, but these were refinished. I think the original floors that they refinished, which is really nice. And I think almost, I think almost all the windows have been vinyl replaced. It's got a fairly new hot air oil furnace. Uh, basement is unfinished. Um, could be used for storage or something, but typical basement in Maine gets a little damp in the spring or if you have heavy, uh, wa uh, heavy rain. So you should put stuff in totes. Um, did have the washer dryer hookup originally down there. Now we moved the, um, washer dryer hookup to the kitchen. So they go side by side, but, um, let me actually point that out to people. It's a lot more convenient than going down into the basement for it. Um, all these old houses were built, actually probably were built without a washer dryer hookup at all, but when they added it, they put it in the basement, but we added it so you've got a washer and a dryer hookup there. So it's right here. You don't have to try to go down a third flight of stairs uh, to get to it. So that finishes 40 Getchell Street. If you'd be interested, let us know.